Thanks for coming by. Can I get you some water? No, thank you. Okay. Sonny, what's this about? Uh, Jason had to leave town last night. He, he, he's not sure when he's going to come back. He wanted me to stay in touch with you while he's gone. Oh. Oh, well, I guess that means you know. Jason keeps my secrets. I keep his. I'm not going to tell anybody that you could be carrying his child. I'm just, hey, you know, just here to help. If, if you need help, since he can't help you. That's what I'm, thank you, but I, I'm fine. And I'll be even better once I get the results from the paternity test. Did Dr. Lee say when the results are coming back? I should know by the end of the day if Jason or if Lucky is the father of my baby. This must be awkward for you, getting dropped in the middle of someone else's family problems. Huh? Well, Jason's like a brother to me, so, you know, we, I'll help him any way I can. I'm really glad he has you to talk to, because usually he's the one supporting everybody else. That's why I went to see him the night of the blackout. I had just caught lucky with Maxie Jones, and I needed somebody to talk to. I never meant for it to be anything more than that. You both were hurting, you know? There's no, no one's really to blame, right? Lucky doesn't know I slept with Jason. And right now he's in rehab fighting to get clean for a baby that might not even be his. I'm just so afraid if Jason turns out to be the father, this might be the very thing to push Lucky over the edge. If Lucky goes back on drugs, then it's on him, not you. Yeah. I don't even know if I can keep it a secret from him. So many people already know, including Rick. He bugged Jason's penthouse and overheard us talking about it. That's why Jason left town last night. He almost killed Rick. When I left Jason and Rick in the garage last night, there, there was tension between them, but th nobody was out of control. Well, that's what Rick wanted you to think. And then he, he did everything he could to set Jason off. He called Sam a slut, told Jason that she's the one that begged him to have sex. So, you know, Jason got upset, started beating the hell out of him. I pulled Jason off. I sent him. I, that's why I had to send him away because I don't want. I don't want Rick to come and, and charge him for attempted murder. You know. Is there anything I can do? What you can do is you can take care of yourself, take care of the baby. That's one less thing Jason needs to worry about. You don't like it, do you? Like what? The fact that I could be carrying his child. Well, yeah, you know, it's between you and Jason. It's your business. Whether I approve or not doesn't really matter. What's going on? D has filed charges against Jason Morgan. He's wanted for attempted murder. What? That's not fair. We have a warrant to search the premises. Tell you what, I'll go with you because you're not going to find him anyway. Excuse me. Let's go. Smith, you don't want to be caught in a war between Lansing and Jason Morgan. Do what's best for your baby and get out of the way before you both get hurt. Jason decided to take out some of his anger on me. I don't think he would attack you without a reason. Maybe he didn't like the questions that I was asking. Look, Elizabeth, uh, I know the two of you are friends, but Jason isn't the man that you think he is. Well, neither were you. OK, I deserve that. The only difference between me and Jason is that I chose to change my life and turn myself around. Jason, on the other hand, you know. Has always been extremely kind and supportive to yeah, me. Yeah, and he kills people for a living. I know you don't want to accept this, but he is a danger to himself and everybody else around him. Once he's in prison, he won't be able to hurt you. Jason would never do anything to hurt me. Well, maybe not intentionally, but it's near impossible in his line of work to keep the people around him safe. I mean, come on. Look at Sam. She's been collateral damage on more than one occasion. Then why cause her more pain now? 
Wouldn't it be better for everyone if you just drop the charges? Look, I get that you care about Jason and everything, but your compassion is misdirected. He is a cold-blooded killer who has gotten away with one crime after another, time and time again, by covering his tracks. Not this time. I'm not gonna let him. I have to take this. Elizabeth. You don't need the stress of worrying about Jason. You have a baby to think about. <laughs>